It's another beautiful time that we're back here to do what we know how to do best and that is discussion and the discussion of the day today is about relationships and relatives like when and how do you introduce your better half or your date to your relatives you know, it's a learning session, so we are going to really learn how to do it. My name is Sankara Kayesu, and this is White Five Four, and this is Why in the Morning. And I am not alone in the house, being Queen's Wednesday, I am with very beautiful queens here, Tryon and Lillian. Eh? Tryon and Lillian, you are going to tell us more about you, you know, your camera is on you. Uh, Lillian, you are going to tell us everything about you, like your name, you, where you come from, what you do, your social media handles, everything. Welcome, Lillian. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I'm Lillian, Lillian Onyango, but mostly I'm known by Lillian Ahony in my social media, like in Facebook, I'm Lillian Ahony, in Instagram, like Ahony Lifestyle, and in Link in a whole new lifestyle as well. Then I'm a journalist by profession, and right now I have a blog. I write about, I vlog about lifestyle stories. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Lilian. Uh, you're welcome to FF4. No, it's your first time. Uh, you, you are a journalist, so it's going to be easy for you. Uh, by the way, Lilian was my schoolmate or classmate at a point, so I know who I'm talking about. And by the way, before uh, you forget, she was named after my mom, Lilian <laughs> Alili, Princess Julie. <laughs> Hi, mom. I know you're watching. Then we have Tryon. Tryon, how are you? Thank you. Yeah, t tell us everything that Lillian told us and more. <laughs> I'm Tryon Teji. My Instagram handle is underscore Tryon Teji. Um, I study at JQuart Public Administration. That's it. Oh, your social media handles, you've said all of them Facebook, Instagram Twitter. Instagram only. Oh, you are only on Instagram? Yes. Why? What, 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 how did Facebook wrong you in any way? Hey, Facebook is just too much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe. There are those of us who are only on Facebook, so maybe we are used to being too much and all that. But now the elephant in the room is about this relatives thing. Yeah. Mm, there are people who you introduce to your parents and the following day he leaves you. <laughs> that's why we are here in asking even on our facebook page and uh, twitter and instagram that when is the right time for you at what level of relationship do you introduce your date to your relatives i think you we start with you you tell us when do you think it is uh, i think you can't put like a definite time to it but you you can just tell sacrifice for you just weigh the relationship yeah, I hope you've dated a Luo because a Luo, a Luo can start sacrificing for you day one day one and maybe it doesn't mean it so much uh, my friend Val used to tell me that when he puts you here dancing eh, you're mm. dancing you thought you were very loved you sleep here Kumbe so you peg it on sacrifices the day he will start maybe investing in you and all that yeah it's a lot of stuff sacrifice how he treats you you'll know mm, yes. but now it's the right time to start telling my sisters and yes. aunties that they sound now to see what to see they say to your mom <laughs> <your dad. laughs> In a test. <laughs> Cousins. Okay, so according to you, start from the far relatives. Yes. Ukipanda. Kidogo, kidogo, ukipanda, mm. hadi ufike kwa now the parents. Mm. So the parents is where you do it last. Yes, and final. Oh. Yes. Okay, Lillian, your opinion on okay, this. Okay, according to me, I think that the right time is as soon as it makes a logic feeling that, that you feel like this is the person. Mm -hmm. You can't just meet someone like two days ago and the next minute you're like, oh, I want you to see my mom, I want <laughs> you to see my dad. <laughs> you must see that this person is, okay, this is the person I want. Mm. Yeah. So, so as soon as it makes a logic sense, just introduce that person to your parents. But do you think you can think it's making sense, Kumbe, it's all hoax? Because <laughs> what you, what somebody told me on this same forum mm -hmm. is that men can do everything maybe to get 
the right, the bedroom right, the conjugal right, and then after that maybe you can a man can fly from here to London Someone just to get. For long. Okay, by by logic sense, I mean that yeah. you must study them, you must see if they really love you. Mm. You can't just like see that this is making sense after two weeks. You mm. must give them or maybe two months, not two months, <laughs> maybe five months. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> two months is so soon. Yeah. Oh, five months. Five you months said maybe. somebody cannot pretend for too long. Yeah. Uh, mm. So how long can maybe somebody, if you, how long do you take to study somebody if he's pretending or is real? I think one and a half months mm. tops. One and a half months. Mm. So you feel somebody cannot pretend for more than one and a half months? <laughs> pretend for more than six months. <laughs> <laughs> People can pretend, I know. People can pretend to get what they want. Okay. They can pretend up to one year. Oh, up to one year. Up to eh? one year, according yeah. to me. Like, they can pretend to get what they Do want. Do you have any personal experience about that? Personal experience about? That somebody pretended to love you for some time, then you realize later that maybe he doesn't love you. Yeah. Mm. I have experience, but I can't say that that we are that serious that he wanted to introduce me to their to his parents. Mm. I'm not sure about that, but he pretended to love me. That's what I can say. For how long, Lilia? Okay, it's for like two years. Uh, yeah, it was two years. What so, do you think, Tryon? You said about one <laughs> week. Uh, she's like okay. disapproving your statement that somebody cannot pretend for too long. Lillian is telling us somebody pretended to okay, love yes. her for two good years. For two good years. I, I don't think there, that's pretending. Seated. Oh, this man loves me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you just knew the situation. No. Someone can't pretend for two years and you can't see the signs. For two years, okay. <laughs> then for two years I was there seated. I knew that I am number one. Then all of a sudden something happens and then I come to know that I'm number two. Oh, maybe not number two, maybe number ten. I don't know. I don't know how guys behave, by the way. Uh. But I just know that after some times I just realized that this person, he has someone else. Maybe, maybe. You know what Ryan is saying is that... Uh, Maybe this person really just loved you, but mm -hmm. maybe you dated for too long until maybe a kaboeka, a kaona mwingine, and then things went. Mm -hmm. And I wonder how you knew you were number two. How <laughs> did you know? Really? Why did you know you were number one, then there's number two? <laughs> I'm also curious. <laughs> You, it's possible, Tryon, that somebody can love you mm -hmm. until, uh, you know, this should also be like a discussion for another day. How long should you date somebody and yeah. then maybe you get into serious things like... The next step. Yeah, the next step. Like this, Lillian was dating somebody for two years and no serious step had happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For two years. 24 months. Yeah, 24 months. And there, I, <laughs> <laughs> and there I was, and being though I know that I was number one, and then all of a sudden, this thing can't happen. He was yes. number one. Mm. Yeah. Did he like open up to you and tell you that there's somebody, or you just investigated no, and went? No, I didn't investigate. He was kind of telling me, let's give it a break. <laughs> and then, you know, if a man tells you, that, let's give it a break, mm. it's obviously a breakup, which in an envelope, that's, so that you can't know what is inside. So I was there seated, okay. Let's give it a break because maybe he was going through something. He was stressed up about his mom and I was like, okay, let me just give him time. Maybe he just wants a break, but in real sense. <laughs> what does break mean in this sense? Like you don't communicate, you don't meet, you don't do what? Like, what, what does a break really mean? A break means that he just wants me to like give him a break. Yeah. He wants to be himself. Yeah. Maybe when I'm with him, he's not himself. Yeah. So, but actually what it really means, when you open the envelope, <laughs> It is a breakup inside the envelope. Uh, a break me, is a breakup. Me, I just want to get to know this better. Mm -hmm. When now, during this break, is it now this time that you started investigating and knew there was somebody? or? Okay, I felt changes. Like when I called, sometimes it doesn't pick my calls. Then sometimes when I sent him messages, he reply, reply after two weeks, or sometimes oh. he doesn't reply. I wait for ages to, for him to just reply my messages. You are a marathona. You are a yeah. marathona. You like you have yeah. long durations. And then uh, replying a message after two weeks. After two weeks, or maybe he doesn't reply at all. How are you? Then day one, day two, day three, up to day fourteen, I am fine. Yeah. In the fourteenth day. And then his messages started to be short. A very like short. Even, yeah, short. He doesn't write <laughs> the photograph like he used yes, to. Yes, he used no, to. Like, like he used to be, how are you, my darling? Yeah. You you text and then, fine. 
I was the one pushing the conversation actually. And then I felt like something is amiss here. Be the coach now, Tryon. Tell us what you think about the whole, this office. whole thing. Yes. I don't think he was a pretender. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What do you think? I just think maybe you guys started misconnecting somewhere at some point. Uh, but he wasn't pretending all the way through. Someone who pretends, they don't even have the time to tell you, it, let's take a break. Because mm -hmm. they don't care. I'm done with you, that bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you think, okay. you think she could reignite this love and come no, back or something? it's just over. Oh, I just think the break was a breakup. Yeah. He, doesn't, he just didn't want me to tell me that, let's break up. Yeah? I'm, I'm learning something. <laughs> that when a man tells you a break, there's just up missing at mm -hmm. the end of that yeah. break. It's yeah. a breakup, you agree? Yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's the man who breaks the relationship, uh, yes. it can't happen yeah, again, yeah, it can't yeah. reconnect. Uh, uh. What if you still love him, Tryon? Aye. How to put yourself first? What is over? It's How? Because that's just toxic. There is no point of wasting your emotions <laughs> with someone who doesn't care. But don't you think it is selfish, Tryon? For you to be the people breaking relationship, now men don't break, you're the people who feel it is it can work or feel now it cannot work. Try on. <laughs> That's just the norm of life. <laughs> 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 She'll take it as it is. <laughs> yes. Do you have, like her, do you have a, an experience in, in maybe uh, such a thing, a breakup or an introduction to family? Um, I have two. Two. The first one, mm. I just, it's like I just knew, so I was ready. The you were one, ready for the breakup? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why I'm telling her, uh. if someone pretends, you'll just know. You always just feel something is amiss, you know. How did he do it? The first one? Yeah. Hey, Elisha, too, you bought a connection. You have any Elisha, too. I could text. Uh -huh. He Would didn't ask. Like, oh, just, as in, I just like, read oh, the signs. Uh -huh. He didn't ask for a break or something. No. Uh, we just talk nowadays. Uh -huh. Will it text Takujibu or something? How, d how did you know that now it's over? I'm uh -huh. text to Kujibu. Mtu anakuta after two weekends sasa. Ile ingalikuwa na check up on you the weekdays. Oh. After two weekends, you know. A weekend ya naona uko wapi ndio. Maybe mm. a social needs equivalent. Nakwa tu tseme demu wa mafo. Wow. The second one second one was tough. Uh, <laughs> but, eh, niliambia tu, we are not on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get back to introduction. That was, uh, by the way, uh, you told us, you gave us a tip that you start from far relatives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe cousins, yeah. or maybe uncles and aunties. Uh, how do you do it? Like you just uh, tell auntie that I'll visit you this weekend and you surprise her huh. with this man or maybe you meet in town or maybe you bump into them. If anybody has an experience in that, I love experiences. Or if you have the best way that you think it can work, maybe to these far relatives mm -hmm. first because you're the person who gave us this tip. Um, yeah, I think when you start introducing the, the man to the far relatives, yes. it's easy to, to see how he'll relate with them, how he'll treat them. Oh, so that is just maybe a test, yeah. an experiment. Yes, because oh. someone who really cares about you, mto pia na jali. Auntie kwa lifika, to yeah. drop or something, amesema ako sawa. Yeah. This is someone who really cares about you and your family. Uh -huh. yeah. But now there are people who don't, eh? If they don't, sasa unampelika kwa zazi ya fanyeni. Yes. Okay. So, according to you, you go to them or you invite them maybe to your place or maybe you meet just a fazadli in town? Um, not to their place. Iyo sasa, you start kwanza places like hotels, you just oh. go for lunch, you know. Oh. Yeah. For lunch and then you invite maybe that, that cousin, then for lunch, <laughs> over lunch and I was, and I was surprised to go to Mutu. Yeah. Alafu na wambia, by the way. This is my boyfriend. 
Oh. <laughs> my, my boyfriend friend. is buying us <laughs> like my boyfriend or a friend this is my yeah. friend. So even the other one as a intro maybe wa wajuane one on one ama unafanya intro one by one unaambia like we tuko na Lilian. Mhm. Or Lilian maybe in your relative tuko na wewe. So una introduce alafu una introduce Lilian ama we let them introduce themselves. I usually feel if you don't introduce the person you're with it's kind of not disrespectful kabisa but ni kind of value. Oh. Yeah, in a make me wanna feel no kind yeah. of. Oh. I can't just let you to introduce ni kama mimi stack I'm not proud of you, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have to take a stand and say so this is so and so and this is so and so. <laughs> yeah. Lilian, what's your Okay, maybe to say something there. Uh, I can say that maybe you can start by someone close to you. Maybe if uh, okay according to me maybe i will start with my brother mm. i tell my brother i want to introduce you to someone and then i tell them this is my boyfriend so i feel i make them feel comfortable around each other like i want him to know my brother i want my brother to know him so after they know each other then it will make it will make them comfortable that if i introduce them to my family they will feel comfortable as well yeah. and my family will also like okay they know my brother he knows mm. my brother so mm. there will be that family thing it will be a family already mm. so if i go there and introduce him to my family it will be comfortable as well wow. and to me it's all about comfort oh yeah comfort. as long as it's comfortable create the comfort if you love someone create comfort for them you can't just go tell your mom to here is it. here is my my boyfriend <laughs> my boyfriend yeah. you must have mentioned prior to oh mention them tell your mom i have someone i have a guest over yes, there yes yes yeah. I have yeah. somebody so maybe at some time you will come here. Yeah. Maybe you una una mention yeah, mention yeah. between them. Don't surprise them. Na pata kama umesha plan vitu nini nini and that's good. I am imagining you mm -hmm. popping his name maybe during the meal so, so oh you know green grams are good but my boyfriend doesn't like <laughs> Yeah, so I'm on but Brian doesn't like this. Yeah. And then they will be with Brian. With Brian. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that is surprise, rude yeah. surprise. Uh let's get to now the opposite side. When he takes too long before introducing you to anybody in his family. What do you think? What do you think, Brian? Red flags. Red flags <laughs> even a sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. hey, after after how long someone. do you want to be introduced? After how long, Ryan? After maybe four months, according to me. After four months? Yeah. Hey, four, four months. months. <laughs> <laughs> four months. <laughs> no, you know that because I okay, according to me, I think it's four months because he must make himself ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for you. Mm. He must prepare everything. Maybe <laughs> he's living in that single room. He want to <laughs> make comfort. <laughs> he want to make you comfortable. Maybe you are. Okay, he's not okay with this family. Like the, he has issues with the family. There are many in the family, so like he just want to create that comfort for you. Maybe you know, he's not people, staying alone. For people are different, uh -huh. and I love that because you are a good variety. You are uh, you are different. <laughs> like two of you are different. <laughs> Tryon is a sprinter. You are a marathoner. <laughs> like <laughs> Tryon wants things to happen very fast, really? very fast. But Lillian uh -huh. is cautious. I think you you are melancholic. You are an introvert she's an extrovert extroverts wants things there and then rakaraka mm -hmm. but uh, melancholics or extra introverts are careful mm -hmm. to, i don't want this to happen or maybe i want this to happen now tell us on your part why you think it should be as fast as possible because <laughs> this man he cares about these people and if he really loves you and cares about you. he'll want the both of you to meet like the same way you said i'd want my guy to meet my brother mm -hmm. they get to know each other the same way this guy should want you to know his maybe his sister mm -hmm. a cousin they're close to when you wanna making it jokes now nah, something mm -hmm. like that okay that's okay but i'm say, i'm talking about maybe the parents the parents thing. Uh, the parents, parents when to meet the parents okay when to meet the parents and when to meet the friends Yes. But if this guy doesn't want you to meet the friends here and I endanga to you ataka meet marafiki zake wewe tu wewe kuna tu wenye ameweka ameweka By the way kuna wenye anataka tu ile relationship ikue siri siri kama hizo kama anataka ikue siri okay ataki ku introduce to you in any friend marafiki zake ataki wajue tu wewe ni wake Ah for the red flags 
how to maybe preparing if you want him to meet your uh, your relatives how what things do you think you should tell him to me be aware of how do you prepare him uh, so what do you th think it's there's need to prepare him yes okay uh, how do you do it because eh, as for john is in the itakuwa tu shit show eh. so Unaweza mwambia character yeah. za watu huyu anakuanga yeah. hivi sio akikwambia yeah. kitu kai yeah. usishtuke yeah. kama isikusumbue anakuanga yeah. tu hivyo mm -hmm. tukaizo unaanza tu kumpiga stories ni nini, nini jo watu kwa family so anaelewa character yao huko hivi yao huko hivi this is how i approach this one this is how i approach this one mm. Mm. also akwe okay. anajua ni yeah, character wewe na yeye utatuambia how you should prepare your family I should. prepare your family that somebody is coming <laughs> apart from hiyo <laughs> kusema ati kwa meza mm, brana anapenda viti kama hizi <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you prepare your family that somebody is coming here soon? Mm. Okay, like okay. I'll start by maybe making the house clean every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I sit my mom and dad down and mm. I tell them, Okay, now it's time. I know I haven't introduced you to someone for long now. I think now is the time. Okay, just tell them. I know it's okay to master that courage to tell your parents that I want to introduce you to someone is so difficult but then it a bidi I have a cousin called Beryl mm -hmm. I salute her because she was the first person to introduce the boyfriend to the family mm -hmm. and they ended up wedding she was in school of journalism if you can remember Beryl Akinyi mm -hmm. uh, she just went and during the meals said but dad mom I want to see you after this meal I have something I want to tell you <laughs> Yeah, that those people are curious, saying, "Oh, what does she want to tell us? Uh, she may be pregnant, mm. or maybe me pata ugonjwa ingine to come here." Then sweet surprise, I am seeing some jakarachuanyo. Jakarachuanyo is in Luland, mm -hmm. and it's my friend, and I want him to come and see you here. Mm. These guys were speechless for some time. They say. Uh, don't you think she's too young for that? Uh, because she was in third year, uh, mm -hmm. Don't you think she should finish school first if to come here? But at long last, they accepted, and you no, know, she has done what no any other girl has done is in this family. You, you need to take courage, son. Take courage. Yeah, come on, take idea. Joe, okay, me, me, my experience. So I'm just wondering, how will I start? Maybe to guess, maybe in the end of my mango kwanza. So then the camera kona bangu apo ivo ameka. Maybe I'll just tell my mom, come to kona maybe ni kwana ushe viyombo yana finish something else. Just tell her mom, ati I have a guest and I want him to come and meet you. Maybe yeah, that is just simple. To start with, miss my experience. I don't know. You've not done it. Eh? <laughs> I don't know. Because I know it's so courage to Are you anticipating to, to see, get to that day or are you just nervous? I am. Okay, I'm nervous about it. Just to think about it, make me sick. <laughs> I mean, how will I start doing this? Like, seriously. What do you okay. think? What do you think, Trial? Ah, for my case, it's just easy. If I just tell uh -huh. my dad, I have a male friend. The moment it's just male. Uh -huh. uh, and to friend. Asha anza ku add one plus one. <laughs> <laughs> and not yeah. relative. Somebody told me that part of preparation is maybe if you are off, you are in bad terms with one of the relatives, say a brother, sister, mm -hmm. you start being nice to them. Do you ask why That's a good point though, yeah. Uh, yeah, something like that. And speaking of Aibu, Mm -hmm. mm, it's a case of somebody who, a lady, who went to introduce a man, and then the grandma was there. Hey, it doesn't look like that other guy you brought the other time. He looks better. <laughs> really? oh, he looks better. <laughs> but that one was tall and poor and sad. Ooh, sasa oh. natokea wapi. Yeah, mm -hmm. uyu ni wawapi sasa. Uh, situations come as you know some grandmas when maybe they were troublesome at their youth mm -hmm. the trouble comes back when they get old, old yeah. and now one has a kufiche 
Uh, will you hide your grandmother if she's like of that type? <laughs> but that's why you were saying, mm -hmm. by the time you're introducing your, your guy, mm -hmm. you know this is a serious relationship. Yeah. So at, at that point, you're going to say, I'm 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 going to say, he knows, ni mefika final. Eh. So it's okay. Yeah, and eh. maybe to add on a point, eh. you must, yani, unini, unafa kungoja time mzuri. Usi mpeleke like two weeks, umemi leo, then unapeleka two weeks. Ju, your mom or dad may say, may say something like, maybe, I don't like her. Mm -hmm. Alafu weo pia, okay, akisho kambia hivya, I don't like her, utanza kufeel like, umujua wa mekrit doubt in you. Yes. Utanza kufeel like, Maybe I should look somewhere else. I, will, I should try Lucy. Mm. Mama Nancy, you look on a wing. I'm going to introduce you. I say you doubt. What I want to create with Naniako. I say when I'm far away, when you need to make it like maybe five months up with you, join the story. I don't come out with the same Nini. When I say my two, this is what I want. This is what completes me. This is what I want. I say you and Nini. You say we should join the story. This is where I am, and this is my place. Kitu kama iyo. I say I'm going to say Nini. You still insist. Ana kama ni black na makoa nataka si brown. Ana kama ni mfupi na makoa nataka brave. Una insist tu this is what I want. Asa hizo my arguments, my comments odafanya, odasema haita affect in any way. But you can complete you can bring some compliments. Najua tulia mtu ali introduce girlfriend wake. She was not so beautiful, sorry to say. <laughs> so, Kusema Kusema na na udio dem tawa na simone ifo ni lawyer mm. ni lawyer simone ifo. They are you also compliment that other side. Yeah, so you can use more. that also on your man. Eh? Meet James. James is my man. Na simone ifo who ni mwana Jeshi. Lakini sasa unajua kama umeenda ku introduce your man. Bila unamwambia usimone ifo. Kwa maanisha Wewe pia kuna wenye unamdharau. Really? And this is someone you want to get married to. Siyo <laughs> 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 the other side of uh, mm -hmm. of him mm -hmm. but uh, si kuna vile unaweza kafa unajua mm. uh, before i forget uh, marathon amesema 5 months <laughs> Five months uh, una introduce what does a sprinter say 5 months uh, Mm. <laughs> So na enda na mwingine maybe bad luck muachane maybe after 5 months with the other anasema alafu unaanza enda to introduce watatu okay una join in you don't you know why i don't want the introduction to be too fast jo most men watakuwa na use that introduction wanani wanaona kwa kisha introduce your parents sasa unaona ni kama wewe ni yo akitaka hii urampea akitaka hii urampea unaona ju sasa ameku ameku trap ameku trap introduction sometimes na ku trap by the way una feel like some mimi ndio wake na kumbe amesha introduce tu wengine wewe unasema unaona wewe yuko na mwanzo letokea huko hata ile wengine wewe ndikuja sasa unaona kitu kama hiyo sasa usirach kwa introduction by the way ata ku trap hapo hivyo ati mimi ni wake peke yake na kuna wengine bado huko nje Okay, try on. Try what you think of uh, maybe a family situation. You guys are very poor, mm -hmm. but you are dating somebody who has a lot of money. So, ata nyumba kwenye ataenda, ni ile ya matope, ya grass thatch. I'm not saying that it's not bad. It's bad to, to be in such houses, mm -hmm. but it's practical. There are so many people still in Kenya. Mm -hmm. In Kenya, we are still in mud, grass-touched houses. Yeah. So maybe your situation is um, sorry. You are in a sorry state economically, yeah. but they are well off. Tell me how you handle such a situation. You avoid going home. Sasa the five months. Nezatumia yosas. 
Yeah. I can maybe buy time because mm-hmm. obviously at that point, by the time you decide you want to introduce someone, you also may be financially stable. Mm-hmm. Eh, Mia ni jenge nyumba. Utajengea wazazi nyumba hey. ndio huyu akuja just for the purpose of, you, of coming to over Cuz in that relationship ama marriage siku mnagombana mimi hata sijui nilikutoa kwa nyumba nyasi sijui mimi sijui <laughs> <laughs> nitatengeza akuja apate pia mimi nilikuwa sawa And if you can't maybe or you will consider going to neighbor's house maybe a neighbor has a better house So unaambia neighbor mtuache nyumba for just three hours Niko my boy. Eh hey, wageni wangu. Nyumba yetu sasa. Eh because nyumba yenu si mzuri. Lilian what can you do? Okay mimi mimi naona kama mtu anakupenda, unampenda and you umefika hiyo stage nyingine unafaa ku introduce them to your parents. Hata kama nyumba yenu nakaje. That's real you. Umjua the time that unasema ati sir I'm going to take this time I'm going to make my house sikuwe sawa. Unajua ina kama unajaribu ku hide something. Like una nisemaje upaka ngi makeup na hiyo siku ndio kupaka makeup you are not being real you asa kama hata akupendi hata kama anakupenda aje kama the introduction enda to you when you go just tell him come and see my where i am oh yeah apo pia mtu akuna akuna haja kutengeneza akuna haja kutengeneza nyumba aje akuna haja kufanya hivyo venye wiko time ikifika But you know, know how Tryon was arguing mm-hmm. is that it will pop up maybe later in your maybe marriage life mm-hmm. kama mta waana siku. Mtu anabiringia hapa na nilimtoa kwa matope. Unawaambia life iko even the life iko sasa zingine mko chini sasa zingine mko juu. Mimi hakuna haja kujifanya team mko rich na size mko rich by the way. Hiyo ndio kwenye iko iko hivyo. So long as nyuma ni safi. Can you do the same if maybe found your work on that sorry state? Yeah. Wende upate eh, wende upate mnakulia maka kwa hizi traditional stools mm-hmm. kwake mm-hmm. alafu mnakula kwa dishes zimekuwa dark dark black black juu ya mboga mingi vitu kama hizo and the way maybe you are a town girl when ni msichana wa minister you are daughter of a minister mm-hmm. uh, can you handle that especially with the Kenyan Nairobi ladies vile na wajua i will handle it juu kama unapenda mtu hiyo nasema sambanga inaitwa love Hakuna jambo ndio lakini unajapenda mtu. Ukipenda mtu, hizo zote utaelewa. Tayara no you have. Hakuna venye unataka kumwaibisha, ati sijui nyuma yenu nakaje. There's no way. Utaenda tu hapo hivyo. You still you meet the parents, you talk to the parents, you love the parents because now they'll become your parents. Na wewe mwenyewe, ungeshaye maybe umeenda kwa hiyo marriage. You to make things different. Tayara I'm itching for your opinion. I know ndio sema ikavibaya lakini uh-huh. kwa tu honest <laughs> it's honesty mhm yes yeah. nitakuwa nimependa mtu yes the feelings won't change mm-hmm. but nitaanza kujiuliza sasa kama kuko hivi this man anafaa kwa by now ameanza kujipanga apange familia yake cause sasa yetu atatulindaje uh. <laughs> He has to pull up socks. I'm emotional. Kama kwa hivi sasa ni kama zitaisha hivi sasa kwa sawa. Kama as in kama nyumba ni mbaya sasa life haitakuwa sawa mbele ana kupinda. Eh sasa anasema ana kuona sasa anasema kuna vile anazaona people uh, vile wako vile wanaishi hey. anasema huyu jamaa atanitesa. Hata wazazi wako watakuuliza ni wapi unaenda. Ni mbona unasemanga a human anaenda kwa man and I'm say dear and I go help you go change that you go change the situation okay na pivu na change your penye ilikuwa una make better i got the best set of you the same different as different <laughs> as up <laughs> from heaven very <laughs> different we are so busy to narrate is we are so much a stomach we you a sprinter we you a marathon the same way pe mimi mr manita tengeza kwetu kwanza even ndo pia na fa ku take a stand Where is okay, your first house where I come from I know where you come from too there's something called Simba Simba is this first house boys build in their homestead you can't go to that house if it is grass thatched when it's you are maybe you are married you are a wife it's grass thatched it's maybe never to but kuna nyumba zingine hapo hiyo tu moja ya mila peke yake sio tu hiyo ni yenu hiyo ndio nyumba ya bwanako hizo zingine si zenu hizo zingine ni za maybe brothers and uh, and maybe parents na yeye ajojenga na apangi kujenga ni hiyo tu hiyo ndio akonayo bado hajapata hajapata pesa 
Atulie tu apate pesa. Utaenda kwa grass touch to see. Mimi nitaenda hapo juu. Hebu kama nime waste time atapata mwingine. Then 5 years down the line nitakuwa like great I wish I knew. Ndio vitu ni stack. Eh na baby badai amejenga. Badai eh. Uh, okay. You start from somewhere small then you grow. You don't the, stay there. The parents who do background search mm -hmm. like they want to know they want to know how your family are like maybe economically socially uh who ku grill boyfriend yako who is your father mm -hmm. uh, what does he do uh, <laughs> come by his own. Uh, do you think you can stomach that uh, or uh, maybe you can tell parent ngoje tu hizo utajua baadaye kama najua yuko sawa bado ambia tu tulieni bado Oh, aki aza kuliza hivu utambia parents to the end. To the end, because if he'll get to that point ni sawa, but niki wanatupi hapa kuna potential. But you know, the, the background dig, dig is better. It used to happen traditionally. So that the parents protect you from going to a bad family, like yeah. a family of witches mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, and they us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are later. <laughs> are you at that point, Ms. <laughs> <laughs> would you encourage your parents to, to do such a thing? Yeah, I would. You would? I would encourage them. You, um, would, you can encourage them? Yeah. That, I, um, I don't know if it's kind of something that was done in the past, but I think I would encourage them to do that. So that maybe if I go to a family, I go to a good family. <laughs> just send the other family. Some parents may insist to meet the other parents first, uh, or maybe send a spy to <laughs> spy about that family yeah. before yeah. they give a nod. But you girls are different. You can say, mi nimependa, nimependa, hata ufanye nini. Hata kama ni kwa night runner, ni daena. Hata kama ni night runner. Hata kama ni night runner, ni daena. So it's, it's tricky. It, it's so tricky. No, Lillian, mm -hmm. uh, give us your final uh, word, your punchline on how you can advise on this introduction to relatives thing as you wind up. Okay. I will advise that. Before you introduce someone, they you are significant other to your parents, yes. you must make them comfortable. And I'm going to repeat this, comfortable. Make them know that you love them and make your parents know that they, there's someone coming home. Mm -hmm. And if you create the comfort, your family will, will be comfortable. Your, I mean, by the family, I mean everyone, cousins, your brother, mm -hmm. and the who is who comfortable again? The <laughs> grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> the grandmother yeah. and your significant, your significant other, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll try on, on you. Tell us, give us your parting shot on the whole of this matter of introduction. Before you introduce someone, just be sure. Don't assume the red flags trying to paint them blue or white. And when you're sure, make the step. That's mm. it. Yeah. Nice. From me is that um, you know what's good for you, but your parents also know what's good for you. If they advise otherwise, please don't wait to regret later. Do what you want to do, but listen also to your parents. This has been a man, woman crush, Wednesday, WCW, and uh, it's been with me, Sankara Kayesu, with two beautiful queens, Tryon and Lillian. Till we meet next time, salute.